Fellow Spartans, welcome to the 0.4 Alpha update for Kingdom Come Deliverance, which was released last week by Warhorse Studios. Now, firstly, I wanted to apologise that I did not upload this sooner, as I know a few of you guys were asking if I'll be covering this update at some point. So here it is. So therefore, you know, sit back, relax, and enjoy, and let's see what adventures we can actually get up to today. Now, this is by far the most significant update that we've had to the game and adds a number of new things but the three biggest features that have been implemented are the ability to now ride horses, have one-on-one -on -one sword combat and two new map locations in the form of a village and a military camp. So we'll definitely cover these in this video today and also we'll take a look at some of the other additions to the 0.4 release. But before we kick things off, I just wanted to show you the biggest tease that Warhorse Studios have put into this game. And this ain't a feature, this is just an absolute bloody tease. So if I turn to my right, check this out. This is a monastery that was added and it looks absolutely amazing, it looks so awesome. But the tease is, the problem is, that we can't actually visit it. It just dominates the landscape and looks fantastic, but we can only appreciate it from afar. But uh, it just looks beautiful, doesn't it? This, this view looks like an oil painting, it looks so authentic but I believe this is actually based on an actual monastery that exists in the Czech Republic I think that's what Warhol Studios have said so it's great to see that they're keeping that um, you know that authentic feel to the game basically so hopefully at some point we can go and explore it um, but for the moment it's not accessible what a shame never mind anyway let's crack on them and as I said one of the three biggest features, I think this is a new feature as well actually, that, the birds rising out of the fields. I don't think that was in the previous uh, update, so that's quite a nice little thing to have. It makes it a bit more immersive, doesn't it? So yeah, one of the biggest, one of the three biggest features is the horse riding. So all you need to do to uh, ride a horse is uh, simply whistle them, or whistle it, whistle the horse. And there you go, there she is, the old Betsy here. So all we need to do is mount her. That's what she said. <laughs> but no, okay, we're, we're on the horse. Right, okay. So what we'll do in this uh, video today is just have a look around the new map locations, as I say. Obviously, you can see this is horse riding now, and I'll go into a little bit more detail with that in a second. And also, we'll have a look at the sword combat as well. We'll take a look at one of the new quests as well. So as you can see, we're entering the village that we've had since the tech demo was released, Samapesh. So this is all second nature to us now, basically. But as you can see there, I can press, I'm using the Xbox 360 controller. You can press the red button, the B uh, button, and that will actually make you gallop. But of course, as you can see, like you do when you're running on foot, it does use up stamina, which is indicated with that yellow bar below. But let's have a, have a quick chat to the, the old bailiff here, because it looks like he's... Uh, having a look at what that smoke is on the horizon there. So let me see if he can uh, help me with this matter. Tell me what that could be. So let's have a, go have a chat to him. Mr. Bailiff. Hello. Where's that smoke in the Talk horizon to me. coming from? I wish I knew. It looks like the Corbin's estate. Would you go and have a look there? Just see what's happening yes, and then come course. back to me. All right. I'll let sure you know thing. if I find out anything. Now that's something that's been put into this update as well. Link lip syncing. It's only only in its sort of early stages at the moment, but again, that's being um, developed now. So we should see that improved as the updates go on. So lip syncing has come in. So that's uh, promising to see. So let's uh, get a gallop going again. Now again, horse riding is a little bit of a work in progress at the moment because the horse tries to keep to the road. So if you try and take him off the road, or her off the road, it's old Betsy here, it will sort of veer back in. So it's a little bit of a loose cannon at the moment, the control is. So we're hopefully uh, that will be improved again as time goes on. So let's have a look at the Colburn estate here. Find out what the hell's been going on and why it's been, and why it's been burning. I am trying to get over this fence. There we go. Jump. Come on. Oh, I think the blinking horse is stuck now. You wouldn't believe it, would you? Okay, let's get... I think I've stuck the horse on the fence. Oh, no. 
<laughs> now, of course, guys, as I say, this is a tech alpha demo, so you know, do expect a lot of bugs, and of course, this is one of them. Look at that. Beautiful. Sliding horse on the fence. Casual as you like. What's it going to do when it comes off? You're going to have it as a fit, is it? Oh, look at that. Graceful. Thank you very much. Right, there's Betsy all sorted out. Oh, looks like a bit of a... Bit of a war has happened here. Bit of a battle. Don't talk. Do you want a drink of water? Oh, wine. Oh. What's talk happened to, to him? Later. Okay. Um, can anyone tell what the hell's happened here? What happened here? You wouldn't believe. Cumans. What? Just so. We've been hanging around here for weeks with nothing happening. And all at once, we're fighting tooth and claw with them. Uh, who's in charge here? Zbyszek von Karolinenthal. Where can I find him? In the camp. Okay, fine. Now, because obviously the uh, map is expanded and the new locations have been added, the map has been improved as well. So you've got a sort of like a global view now, as opposed to just a sort of um, zoomed in view on the town that we had before. So if you go to how it was before. Remember when we had the other up updates? It used to be the, just like this, the map did. Very zoomed in. But now you can scroll out and you can go to this overall global view and see the whole of the map that you can explore, basically. So that's a nice little feature. And also, quest markers have been added in so you can sort of follow them and catch up with them to initiate quests with them. Those sort of gold stars, basically. So, uh, yeah, nice little improvement there with the map as well. Let's come off this, though. So... Uh -huh. Mary. Oh my god, so much death and hatred. Oh my hatred, not hatred. What am I talking about? Right, let's speak to this guy. Uh, who are you? My name's Henry. I'm from Silver Scullets. My god. Scullets didn't fare well. I'm Martin, and this here is my friend Miroslav. The Cumans attacked too here. Good. There were more men wounded, but Miroslav here, I'm afraid, he won't last out the night. He's in trouble, isn't he? Yeah. Can I help somehow? Can I help somehow? Maybe you can. We don't have a field surgeon here, and wine isn't killing the pain for him anymore. He needs something for the pain? That's right. Something really strong. Do you know anyone who knows about herbs, healing, and the like? I'll ask around. Ah, that old do. woman in the in the Please forest, hurry. isn't there? We can ask her. Right. Hey, I'll, find, I'll someone. find someone. Thanks. And also, they've added new pieces of music to the game as well so they've improved the soundtrack and that music that was playing before is one of those new pieces and this one now it's kicking off is uh, again a new one this particular this particular piece of music that's playing now I quite quite like actually it's quite um, nice really adds to the atmosphere of the game um, okay come on Betsy what we need to do is just go back and we'll try and get some herbs from that lady or that witch in the the forest or the woodland over by Samapesh. But yeah, look at this music. It's great. Let's go down here. But yeah, travelling's a lot easier now. Whoa, don't run over the old lady. That wouldn't be good. We wouldn't be able to get any hers off of then. Hello, hello, hello. Stop right there. I'm talking to you. Uh, wounded soldier. Cut you your chase. Say. Most people bring me gifts and invite me to banquets. Do you how? The first to want something from me. I understand, <laughs> but it's a matter of life and death. The Cumans attacked a farm in Murhoyed, and oh one of the men was in terrible agony. Why should I care? Yeah, you don't get invited to any banquets. You are taking the P I W S, my my good lady. Um, right. Ooh, right. Ooh. I'm gonna go for this one. Let's, let's get really nasty with it. Stop the bullshit, Quinn. Don't give me that bullshit, you hag. <laughs> get to the fucking farm before I beat some manners into you. Yes! All right, all right. Oh, that's done the trick. Might, eh? Right. Well, he's wounded. So you said. Don't you know any more? Unfortunately no. not. But the others reckon he won't last the night. And he's roaring so much it must hurt a lot. Aren't you the master field surgeon? <laughs> Sarcastic right. cow. I'll get going. Thank you very much. End the dialogue. I don't want to know who you are. I'm not interested. Just get on with your job. Right, so that's good. So hopefully now she'll get her stuff from the uh, inside the house and then she'll head off 
and uh, try and help the wounded soldier live out his last few hours with, with ease basically because no doubt he will die unfortunately but hopefully she can make it a little bit easier the passing into the afterlife will be easier with her hopefully right let's go back now to we're not gonna we're gonna tell yeah we'll actually we'll go and tell mr bailiff that we've discovered what's going on at the actual estate let's get off the old horsey definitely betsy is what i'm going to call her right hello mr bailiff i smoke went to on the find horizon. out what the smoke on the horizon is from and do you know what's happening? Um, the Cubans, the Cubans have attacked the Colbin estate. Christ almighty, Cumans? That's <laughs> not good. No, no. but Divish's men killed them. Hopefully all of them. Divish? Yeah, that will be the Bishop von Karolinenthal who set up camp here. Well, I suppose we're in no danger. Listen, though. Ask the soldiers if they need anything. Let them see that we look after our guests. Seems fair, okay. Well, we'll see what we can do. May get onto that, but we've got more pressing matters to deal with, like sword fighting, things like that. But having a quick look at the feature list here, so I've mentioned obviously the one on one sword combat that's been added in, the new playable areas. It's four times bigger, I believe, than the uh, previous map that we had before, in the 0 0.3 release, sorry. Um, several new quests, which are a work in progress. We're looking at this one now with the herbs. Uh, tons of new music, which you've heard. Um, subtitles for different languages, um, updated character models, which are again still a work in progress, as well as the uh, version, first version of the lip syncing. Um, we've got horse riding, which is beautifully demonstrated by my old fellow man here. Oh, that is great. Look at the action. Look at the action he's got there. Great posture, my friend. Um, Horse running yeah. world map. We've got the world which we've seen as well. New characters, new herbs and potions. Archery tournament, which we can have a quick look at as well. Armors, grave digging, and multiple small changes, tweaks, and fixes. So there you go. Right, so that's the feature list. Yeah, we, we know. I've just told you what happened there. Calm down. <laughs> You're a little bit uh, behind the times, Mr. Bailey. If I just told you what happened, I don't know. Right. Anyway, let's... Oh, for God's sake, Bessie, what are you playing at? Okay, let's go now to the military camp and have a look at that and see what it looks like before we then head off to the new village. Get out of the way, woman! Can't you see I've got my great stallion in full swing here? <laughs> and the horse is riding as well. Way! Oh, my God, that's awful. Awful joke, sorry. Right. So, we'll keep to the road. There's a new... Very quickly, very quickly... New wood in here as well, new woodland in there. Lovely. Very similar to the one at the other end of the map. I just wanted to quickly show you that as well. But I'll look at that more in a separate video that I've done with, you know, you know who I'm talking about, Isabel. She's in another video with me on Kingdom Come Deliverance. I couldn't, I couldn't, you know, deny her the privilege of playing on this game because she has been asking me for so long about when is horse riding coming into this game. So she was over the moon when the update came out. So I've said to her, you know, you can definitely have a video with me today. Well, I did it before, actually. And, um, you know, you can record some gameplay of, with you going on your horse and things like that. So that should be coming out probably tomorrow. So do look out for that because I feel now... Kingdom Come Deliverance on my channel wouldn't be wouldn't be right without Isabel. It's, she's becoming a part of the uh, you know, part of the uh, the itinerary with the, these sort of videos now. She's getting quite a celebrity with Warhorse Studios as well. She had to send to her last time thanking her for her video that she did. So she feels I think she feels obliged. She has to carry that on now. <laughs> anyway, here we go. This is the military camp, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go in. Hopefully the music will kick in a sec because the music's pretty good here. There we go, hey, the jovial music. Da, 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 da. Right, so, nice. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? So what we're going to do is we're going to have a little bit of a go at the sword fighting, the one-on-one -on -one sword combat. So we'll veer to the right here. I think it's over, there it is, it's over there. I've gone the, probably the worst way around to get this. There's the archery tournament. We're going to speak to Robin Hood a little bit later on. But, um... Let's go to the right. I think I'm going to have to take, come off my horse in a minute. So this is the combat arena. 
and this is the gentleman we need to speak to to have a little bit of a sword practice with him. Now the sword combat in this game is pretty good, it's very in depth and I believe it's very authentic again to the time, so the moves that you you do in this uh, arena is very authentic to medieval uh, times, which of course, why not? This game is all about the authenticity, so uh, this shouldn't be any different. So let's talk to him. Uh, I like to sword fight with someone. No, I want, I want to learn. I want to be. I want to be taught I'd like first. Some training in handling a sword. That's Please. But my services aren't for five groschen. For five groschen. <laughs> you drive a hard bargain. What do you say? Well, I have to, won't I? Sounds I'll take good. it. When do we start? Right, right now. Like. Take this wooden sword and come to the arena with me. Okie dokie then. I'm going to be probably terrible at this, guys. So, do bear with me. Okay, so I've got a wooden sword to practice. That thing you have in your hand is a sword. I'm is a it? human and I want to kill you. Try walking around a bit. Movement around okay. the battleground is just as important as being able to swing. So I'm using my joystick at the moment to move around with the uh, gamepad, the 360 right. controller. Now let's okay. try the basics. Aim for my head and attack. Uh, okay. Oh, whoa! Blocked you, did you? You blocked me, didn't you? I said at my. God, God. That's it. Try attacking from various angles. You can stab okay. and chop. So stab is right trigger, I think. No, sorry, stab is RB and chop is RT, so. That wasn't bad. Ooh. That wasn't bad. Thank you. Nice. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Full of compliments today, aren't you, Mr. Swordmaster? Oh, that's enough. Now, okay. I'll attack and you try blocking me. Hold She's I'll be and I'll T. And learn to fend off various thrusts. I'll go slow for now. Okay. Hit! Oh, that's not very good, is it? Hit! Oh dear, why can't I block? Hit! Oh, that's better. I think I've got to keep that. I've got to keep my finger on the button. Good. That's it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Ha! Would help if I didn't turn away. Good. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Gonna hang of this now, maybe. Hit. I've got to try and get. Hit. Oh! Come on. Give you your best shot. Notice how exhausting it is. Hold yeah. the sword above your head. <coughs> now, I'll show you how master blocks. Attack. Attack. See? Oh, you wait for the wow. strike and only nice. fend it off when you see exactly where it's going. Attack. Block and then go for an attack yourself, then is it? Right. <coughs> oh, wow. Can I do that? Now you try. Ah! Why evaded you. Backswing? As soon as I start to come down block. Okay. Again. Yes. No. Oh, keep moving away. Again. Oh, stop doing that. Stop doing that. Stop moving away. Oh, pull yourself together, man. He's all over you. No. No. I mean, no, I'm blocking you. No. Okay. No. I'll give you what for him, and he keeps saying no That's to me. Again. Okay. Again. Again. Okay, let's have a go no. there. No. Okay, I need to press, I think, LT here. No. Stop saying no, you fool. I'm shocked at this sword fight. I think I was okay with the, Again. the attacking, but it's, it's the blocking no. that I'm not too good at. When you manage to fend off the sword, you can lunge straight away. Try it. 
You can counterattack immediately after successful successful parry. Get to the right hand side. What's new? Are you still looking for that deed? Naturally. Sorry, but as far as I know, nobody found anything. Oh dear. Now I'll show you a trick or two. You can lead an opponent by the nose. You give a few basic strikes, and when he least expects it, you attack out of rhythm. Defend yourself. I'll show right, you how okay. it's done. So, pre what we think is I can't read really differential what that is on the. Now you try it. If you link together on the, key, on the, strikes, on the game pack, so you should tell me on the keyboard. A strike like that is almost impossible to fend off. Try a combination. I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna go for the keyboard for a sec. I've got a bit more control when I'm using the actual mouse as opposed to the uh, the actual gamepad. So maybe that's something they could work on to try and improve that a little bit because it is not as easy to manage when you're using your, your gamepad, I don't think. Not as responsive. So hopefully that can be something they can work on. This combat system does take a while to get used to, you can tell. Maybe it's just me. But it's not easy. All right. I took it easy on you. Now I'm going oh. to let you have it. Try everything I taught you. Oh my god. Oh, go in my head. Oh. Oh, I thought you little bastard. Oh. Where have I been where have I been hiding all this time? This aggression suddenly come out. Yes! I'm king of the world! Oh, no, you're not. I can't actually block to save my life. Oh, yeah, it's going in the corner now. Is that it? Oh, that's, that's it, I think. Unless I've walked out of the arena, but... Right, fair enough. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was probably the worst example of how to sword fight on Kingdom Come Deliverance, but you got to see at least the mechanics of it. So it, it is quite in-depth, as I say. Look at that, oh, look at this. Before he starts, sign of the cross and all that. But yeah, um, a lot of practicing I think I need to do before I can master this uh, this part of Kingdom Come Deliverance but yes very very authentic I believe and it seems to be quite in depth but uh, hopefully as I say you got a good idea of how it will play out maybe there's obviously going to be some tweaks and improvements it's still a work in progress with this mechanic as well it's only just coming to this release but you know of course so uh, I'm sure as time goes on they'll streamline it, line it and they'll make things sleeker uh, on it and the combat system will probably be updated even more so hello I want to shoot I'd like to try archery and who's stopping you mm, short I can just go and do it <coughs> with your own equipment oh. as long as you don't break anything have I got anything fine. at least I'll see what you're like is it possible to earn a groschen or two shooting maybe if you've got a few coins, I can try and find someone who's not on patrol who can show you something. Okay. Why not? What will I need for it? A bow and arrows and a few groschen. Well, I've got the groschen. Where can I get all that? Try using your head. Look, once you get the gear, someone will surely show you the ropes. Right, okay. So I've got... The only thing I've got is the uh, the groschen at the moment. Yeah, I haven't got the equipment, but we've got lock picks. Let's have a quick look in here, see if this could... Uh, be the solution to our answer uh, to our problems, hopefully. But I'm not very good lot picks, so Oh got in. Great. That's gotta gotta break that one then. So what have we got in here? Ah here we go. Arrows and bows and Yes, after 40 groschen as well. So there you go, right. I'm here for the archery. So can we finally get yes, to it? Yes, I've got it. 
Sure. So get geared up, stand by the fence over there, and I'll run and get someone. Okay, I take it it's this one. Oh, right here. Right, fine. Get ready. Okay. Go! Well, hang on. I haven't got my bloody bow start started yet. <laughs> Okay, press one. Oh my god, how do I get the bows again? Is it? Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. So I'm on one score where they are. So that's the amount of hours if they've um, fired. And I'm on the second arrow and I'm on three points and they're on six points. So I need to catch up with them now. Come on. Oh my god, what was that? That was a bit of a duff hour, wasn't it? A limp shot. Oh my god, that was awful. It's been a while since I played this game and it bloody hell it shows, isn't it? Oh god, come on! You get a bit of a zoom in on this, maybe. Oh oh my lord. I'm so sorry guys, this is appalling. I thought it was bad in the in the sword fighting, but this is worse. I'm holding it down for too long. <laughs> oh god, even Isabel could do better than this. Oh, I'm not even shooting the target. This is embarrassing. Come on. Hey, I got one. There is a god. Someone six points. They are. Nice try. Pity it didn't work out. Try again sometime. Thanks. Yeah, that was rather embarrassing. Can I, can I have a go again? No, you're probably that disappointed in me. You're saying not a chance. But anyway, there's the archery tournament. So the last thing we'll do before we wrap up things today on this video, if I can ride it, we'll get on the horse again. Oh, it's got to get rid of the barrel until that's probably why. Yeah, is we'll go and have a look at this new village and see what this looks like. So it's over here. I believe there's a few quests around this uh, part of the map, but uh, as I say, with, a, with us having five hours of gameplay with this update, I don't want to do everything in this video, else we'll be here forever, and it'd be rather a boring video to watch five hours non-stop. Maybe it won't be, but you know, I'll be knackered by the end of it. But this is the whole thing about this game. I want to just show you the actual main features of it for the moment because obviously when the game actually fully comes out next year at some point, that's when I'll start to do the quests and go into the storyline and really play it out. But for the moment, it's just to try and take a look at what's been added in and what we can expect in future updates. So this is a new village, as I say. Lovely graphics and design work on this sort of pond here. It's very authentic indeed, again. Beautifully put together. Lighting effect looks awesome. Look at that, the water there. It looks like it's just real, isn't it? It's beautiful. So, where are you going, horsey? You're reversing and you're not going in the right direction. Can we go forward? Thank you very much. I don't know where the actual map stops. I think it goes out into fields over here. And that's how far you can go before it yeah, says stop. But I believe as well this village at some point, because we were, we were teased these screenshots of this village a while back. And it had a castle on it. And I think the castle will be added in later on. So that's going to be part of this village or just off to the, the main part of the village, maybe up there on the hillside, maybe at some point, but I'm going to position that nearby and that will be implemented because it'd be great to get onto that, uh, or get into that village, or sorry, I guess, sorry again, get into that castle at some point because uh, we haven't really got a flavour of what they'd be like yet on this game, we've just seen the villages of course, so uh, that should be coming in hopefully uh, very soon at some point in the autumn probably in the next update maybe so this is the stables looks pretty good and not it and part my horse in here couldn't i if i can get off that is no i'm gonna have room to get off but yeah this is how it looks and obviously lots of stuff that will be done or there will be lots of stuff to do in this village at some point a couple of quests in here already 
one of them I think is about them burning bodies for some reason. I don't know if that's linked to the or you know, not burning bodies of humans, but um, horses and things like that. I don't know if it's partly to do with the they think there's a plague here or something, and that could be related to the grave digging quest. But if you look over here, they're sort of being piled up. As you can see, the carcasses remain. Not a pretty sight, as you can see. Don't worry, Betsy, you're not going to go onto that pile. You'll be all right, don't worry. And yeah, um, nice, nice things are happening with this game. Nice improvements are coming out of it. And yeah, definitely great to see it going in the direction it is with these new significant update or this new significant update we've had with this one. So there you go, a quick preview of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Check out the video that I'll do with Isabel. That'll be out at some point tomorrow. That's pretty, pretty good fun. But do bear in mind, as I say with this, guys, it is still a tech alpha demo, so do expect these bugs to be in it. Of course, they will be ironed out and sorted out by the time the uh, full version comes out. But, uh, yeah, really looking forward to what other changes we get to see this year with the game. And I believe they will be, as I say, adding that castle at some point, and we can hopefully see as well that monastery and explore that at some point in the very future, near future as well. Um, but yeah, that is where I shall wrap up this video. But this is gearing up really nicely indeed, and I'm extremely excited for the full release at some point next year. So, as well, you know, if you haven't played this game yet and you want to get your hands on the alpha demo, then you can do so right now. There's a link in the description of this video. We can go to their main. Um, sort of web page, Warhorse Studios' web page, and you can actually sign up and back the game, and you can then, if you back it to a certain level, it will then give you access to this alpha tech demo. So you can be playing it like I am doing now very, very soon indeed. So just click on the link and go and check it out from there. So thanks for watching, guys. If you've enjoyed it, drop your like, and I shall be back very soon. Hello. Do you like my horsey? Yes. Hands off. She's mine. Back off. Back off, bitch. <laughs> right, anyway, thanks guys for watching. But until next time, this is Warrior Spotter for now saying farewell. <laughs>